Over three seasons of Legends, I've highlighted many players who've turned early round draft pick opportunities into legendary careers. But one of the best parts of the NFL is when a guy who's not expected to be a star shines bright. I'm Steven Jackson, and in this episode of Legends, we look back at the career of a man who was doubted every step of the way, but he didn't let that stop him. I'm talking about no other than the legend, Leroy Glover. Leroy Damon Glover was born July 4th, 1974 in San Diego, California. He started playing football at the age of eight and he grew quickly. Stories of his size were legendary. According to the Los Angeles Times, after a kid bullied him in the sixth grade, Leroy picked the bully up and threw him out of a window. But when he reached high school, Leroy was able to channel that aggression into the game he loved, football. Leroy earned a spot on Point Loma High varsity team as a junior. He played alongside two other future NFL players, wide receiver J.J. Stokes and a quarterback, Dan White, as well as his brother Darcel, who was a class ahead of him. By the time he was a senior, Leroy was a dominant force. He was named Area Co-Player of the Year and selected a parade and USA Today All-American. Colleges came knocking. Some like the University of Miami and others like my alma mater, Oregon State, go Beavs. But Leroy was determined to stay local to Southern California. He joined his brother Darcel at San Diego State. By the end of his freshman year, he was starting for the Aztecs. Every year at San Diego State, Glove continued to improve. He was on the all-conference team his junior and senior years. He finished his college career with 18 and a half sacks, 44 and a half tackles for loss and five forced fumbles. After being invited to the NFL Combine, Leroy thought he was on the brink of achieving his pro football dream. But his performance at the Combine wasn't what scouts were hoping for. After always being the biggest man in the room, suddenly he was too small and considered undersized to play in the interior defensive line. The first four rounds of the 1996 NFL Draft came and went without his name being mentioned. Finally, in the fifth round, the Oakland Raiders broke Leroy's weight selecting him to the 166th pick overall. As he began his career in Oakland, Leroy found himself way down on the depth chart and active on most of the games. He played in just two games as a rookie and registered two tackles. Following the season, Leroy went overseas to play for the Barcelona Dragons in the NFL Developmental League. In 10 games, he logged six and a half sacks, third most in the league, and had 36 tackles. He was named All-League and helped Barcelona win the 1997 World Bowl. After the season, Leroy returned to the Raiders, hoping to build off of that success. Instead, Oakland decided to waive him. He was signed off waivers by the Saints. And when he arrived in New Orleans, he would be coached by legend Mike Ditka, and it transformed his career. The Saints ran a 4-3 defense. Many believe Leroy was too undersized to man the one technique defensive tackle position in that alignment. As it turned out, what Leroy didn't have in size, he made up with his effort, and he was incredibly durable for a man playing the interior line. In his first regular season game for New Orleans, he made an immediate impact recovering a fumble. Two weeks later, he recorded his first career sack. He never missed a game for the rest of his 13 years in his NFL career. The next year, Leroy took another huge leap forward. In week five against the Patriots, he logged his first career interception hauling in a ball that was knocked out of Drew Bledsoe's hand by the New Orleans pass rush. But it was Leroy's work as a pass rusher that drew the attention and rave reviews. When he got after the quarterback, he was relentless. Leroy finished the 1998 season with 10 sacks, three forced fumbles, 67 tackles, and was selected as a second team all pro. Two years later, after Jim Haslett took over as head coach, Leroy Glover became a star. Hazlitt immediately moved Leroy to the three technique while giving him a partner in the defensive interior, the 6'3", 325 pound Norman Hand. During that 2000 season, Leroy logged a league leading 17 sacks in 16 games, tying a Saints franchise record. He also had three forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, 53 tackles, 18 of those for a loss. He was named first team all pro selected to the Pro Bowl for the first time, and ended up being a runner-up to Defensive Player of the Year to Ray Lewis. He also had five games with multiple sacks. The Saints went 5-0 in those games, 
With 10 wins, New Orleans made the postseason for the first time in eight years. In that first round, they hosted defending Super Bowl champions, the St. Louis Rams. Leroy was a huge part of what ended up being a game-winning score when he recovered a fumble by Kurt Warner early in the fourth quarter. It was the first playoff win in the Saints franchise history. Following the 2001 season, Leroy signed with the Dallas Cowboys, making a Pro Bowl for the third straight season. After Dallas hired Bill Parcells, he turned the Cowboys into one of the NFL top defenses, allowing the fewest yards in the league. Glove was a huge part of that as well. He spent four seasons in Dallas and was a Pro Bowler every year. Following the 2005 season, Glove was signed with the St. Louis Rams and become my teammate. Leroy spent his final three seasons of his career with us in St. Louis, playing every game, contributing off the field as a locker room leader and on the field as a run stopper and pass rusher. The thing that I remember the most about Glove was when times got tough, I typically check the temperature of the room by looking at number 97. Calm, quiet, but with a fierce look in his eyes, I knew when it was time to ride and also knew when it was time to hold my tongue. The quiet wisdom that he often gave me, I still cherish to this day. Leroy wasn't the flashiest player, but from the beginning of his career to the end of his career, what he may have lacked in size, he made up with his effort. And that's why Leroy Glover is a legend.